Hey guys, good morning. Let me turn around for you guys. How are you guys doing? I am so excited <laughs> to be here again. You guys, you guys, you guys, my hands are very dry. Let me cream that first. You guys, I know I have been gone and gone and gone for a very long time. This video is probably gonna be very long because we actually need to break some things down for you guys. Even though I came here last month and I did some recipes for you guys and I said Happy New Year, I told you guys um, how I was feeling and everything and I did not even announce anything here because I just wanna keep that as a secret to myself. If you follow me on my vlog channel, you know that we announced our pregnancy yes let me move back <laughs> let me back so you guys can see yes and also i don't think i have really mentioned about moving in into our brand new house we built this house we finished building this house in december like a lot of good things have been happening okay i've been gone and it's for good things like good things happened in my life and i'm so so grateful to all of you guys that you guys are still here and i'm like oh my god i barely post anything but we still get subscribers we still get like uh views and i'm so grateful but inshallah we are back i'm hoping we are back okay so i'm pregnant <laughs> I don't know any other way to blow it here, but I know some of you guys to follow me on my vlog channel But if you're not following me on my vlog channel, please please take a second and support your girl and follow me on my vlog channel Abby and family right there on the screen <laughs> So we announced our pregnancy and um, It's really special to me this pregnancy because I've been trying to conceive for the past almost eight years after my second child and it didn't happen and it didn't happen i trust well i'm not gonna say i tried many things because i was not i had a lot a lot of things i was doing at the time like i was you know focusing on my business you know during the time i'm saying like from that seven years so i wasn't really like i wasn't really like oh i need to get pregnant i need to get pregnant so um so when I really want to like get pregnant, so I started noticing because I wasn't taking any precautions or anything. So I started noticing that I wasn't getting pregnant, like nothing is happening. Like I've been, you know, we have, you know, intercourse without protections with nothing, but it's not happening. But my mind was, wasn't still there, you know, it wasn't still like a problem for me that, oh, because I've been pregnant before, I had two kids. So it wasn't like I'm pressuring myself. But when I start noticing that, ah, what's going on? You know, nothing is happening. You know, I keep saying if it happens, it happens, but nothing was actually happening. So um, then I started talking to my doctor and my doctor, you know, sent me for tests and everything. She said, nothing is wrong with you. So, um, and she said, before I start you on treatment, which for me, it sounds very scary when they say, oh, we're going to put you on fertility you know treatment when you told me nothing is wrong with me and then now I'm gonna be on treatment you know just like acing things up and one of the things that scares me the most if you follow me on here you know that I love you know recipes natural remedies to do everything in my life so when she told me that I'm like okay I didn't say nothing she's like I'm gonna start you on treatment and that was when I started noticing that something is wrong with me why am I not getting pregnant my husband moved here three years ago um, I haven't seen, okay before that three years ago my husband lived in Nigeria for a long time please follow me on vlog channel a lot of you guys that from, from my vlog channel probably knows all these things so I lived in Nigeria we lived, I lived in Canada so the way <laughs> we get pregnant is like me traveling back home but when I decided to like bring him here and sponsor him here in my stepchildren I had to stay here for all the applications so I didn't travel for since 2015 and they got here so I didn't travel for three years they got here in 2018 so during that time there was no problem because i didn't travel of course i'm not gonna get pregnant you know but when he got here in 2018 it was not a concern still because he was still like you know i feel like the distance and the time that i've left myself maybe like i wasn't you know my body's still getting used to like you know you know intercourse again and everything so it wasn't a problem but the time that i started noticing it was a problem was like a year and a half ago because Ever since he come, I never, we never had like uh, protections or anything. We just, you know, we just do our thing raw. <laughs> so um, then I started noticing, oh, this is not right. Like I keep saying, if it happens, it happens, but nothing was happening. So <laughs> I 
then my doctor okay fast forward again to where my doctor told me that um he's gonna put me on she's gonna put me on treatment then i was like treatment okay what kind of treatment and she said um i'm gonna send you to a fertility doctor go see your fertility go see um uh, like gynecologist and so, something like that actually like a fertility clinic so i visited and they did like blood work they did all kinds of stuff and they said oh everything seems fine um you have a i, I never shared this on my vlog channel so this might be like new to you guys uh you have a low what is it called something yeah ovarian reserved i never heard that in my life which is like it's like she's he said the fertility doctor is a he. He said you have a low, you have a bit low ovarian reserve. Is that what something that I just mentioned? I can't remember. And I was like, what is that? It's like, um, not that you can get pregnant. You can still get pregnant, but it's like the chances are like half and half. So I was like, what does that even mean? Okay, so um, the results were sent back to my family doctor and then she explained what that is ovarian reserved it's not like you can you guys can google it low ovarian reserved i'm sure that's what it is it's, it's been long it's been about two years now or a year and a half so i was like okay so they say there's no treatment for it there's absolutely no treatment for ovarian reserved so which means then i started researching what can i do it's kind of like you're not producing more eggs that's exactly what it is you're not producing my eggs or something i don't know that's what they think so i was like my husband was like he doesn't think like that because you've been pregnant and the doctor was so shocked that oh, you've been pregnant before right like wow really i was like yeah i've been pregnant <laughs> of course i have two kids so uh he told me that i was like oh the only thing that we can do with ovarian reserve is iui or ivf so when they told me that i was like <laughs> What is that? Like, I'm not even gonna push anything. I have kids, I have two kids and I have step kids. Forget it. I didn't tell them forget it. So I was like, okay, we'll think about it. And of course it's expensive. Like when they told us all this amount that we're gonna be using to like, I'm like, if I put that on my house, I know where my house would be. So then I was like, no, I'm not gonna, I didn't tell them, but I, in my mind, I know I'm not gonna do it. My husband is like, you know what? I don't know why you're stressing yourself. We are not going to do all this thing. Just leave yourself. So I came home. Um, I started researching, you guys know I love my remedies, I love my natural thing. I started researching, I was not panicking, I was not worried, I was not I was not thinking about, you know, babies or anything because I already have two kids and I'm grateful to God that I have two kids and I have stepchildren. So I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to, you know, do my natural remedy and everything. So I started researching that if you're trying to get pregnant, just my own research and what my doctor said too. Because I remember she said that to me that you can be on protections like um, is it protections like just start a protections before you start treatment fertility treatment so um, she prescribed a she prescribed a pill for me like just like to prevent you from getting pregnant it's actually not how do I say it's not like I it's not like I don't want to get pregnant but it's a process of like getting pregnant. So you use that for like a couple months and then you got off it. So maybe your hormones and everything will reset. So uh, she prescribed that for me. She's like, we can just try that. It, it can work. It's like 2% chances of working. Just like when you, let's say like you just had a baby and you have to secret it cause, you know, your, your system is like clean. Sort of, I'm not a doctor. I'm just trying to like, I just try to understand what she was saying and also, during my research, I found something like that, that you can be on protections and after protections, you can try, after you get off it, you can try to like get pregnant, which can happen really fast. So I decided to like be on protection. So I was on protection for a couple months and I got off it. And during that time, I always research on what I can use to like boost my, you know, my follicles, my eggs, build like, um, you know, boost it and, you know, make it, <laughs> make it bigger or multiplies so i came across this recipe and i shared it on here before and i started drinking that on my period like not only my period if i'm gonna get my period in two days i started drinking it and i will be drinking like oh like like my water like pretty much my water all through like during the time two days before my period and during the time after, and two days after my period so it's about nine days that i'll be drinking that every just like my juice just like my water pretty much 
drinking that in the bottle but i never tell anyone i just do my own thing but i shared it on here as well and to my surprise i was drinking it nothing happened but a lot of people when i shared it on here a lot of women reach out to me and say oh abby i got pregnant with these and i'm like whoa this actually worked it's not my remedy it's something that i found on pinterest somehow or maybe google i don't know when I research, I go deep into research. I just go from one place to another. So I found it somewhere and it was good. So um, people were reaching out to me and saying, oh, Abby, um, this worked for me. I'm pregnant. Wow, thank you. And I'm like, wow, okay. So I, I was just doing that every time, my period every month. To my surprise, to my surprise, around last, late last year, somewhere late last year, um, <laughs> I was drinking it. I was actually I was actually making it more than um, my period time. Like I was actually okay. Usually I would start two days before my period and then end it two days after my period. So I started when I started getting few messages from women. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna be honest since it doesn't hurt and it's natural. I'm just gonna be honest. So I started drinking. I think I started drinking like almost every day during that month. I was drinking it. I was drinking it. I was eating sort of healthy you know i was active and i didn't tell my husband i was just he knows i make different kind of recipes but i didn't tell him like in my head i'm like something is not right something can be right you know i can do it i can you know this is natural and they said it works for a lot of people not that not that i'm a barren not that i have not been pregnant before it just needs to be boosted you know so um and i started drinking it and of course I also bought the ovulation thing kit to see when I, I think I have a video of that. I'll see when I can, you know, have sexual intercourse, you know, the ovulation, the time that will tell you that you're ovulating. So I timed all of that and I didn't even, I didn't even think it would work. I just, in my own self, my own thinking, I just like, I'm just gonna do it this way. You know, when you time things, like, you time it, you know exactly what you're putting in your body, you know you're doing everything right. You know you're taking your, uh, now I was also taking my um, prenata, I was taking my prenata, I've been taking prenata for the past three months prior to the time that I get pregnant. I was taking my prenata all the time, but I never share with anyone, I never, my husband saw it one thing, I was like, why are you taking that, are you pregnant? I'm like, no. So, I just keep taking that. So just my own little, little things to like help me with my booster drink that I, that I made and drink all the time. Well, I was not expecting to be pregnant. I was feeling one kind late last year. I was not okay. And I recorded that and here I am. And I was teary in that video because my daughter is almost eight years old. I didn't share all this on my vlog channel. I didn't tell you guys the stress I was going through. I shouldn't call it stress, but I should call it like disturbed like i'm disturbed that something can be right something can be you know um so here i am i am <laughs> in my second trimester eight years later i'm pregnant again and i feel like it can happen to you guys it can if you try if you struggle and i know a lot of you guys click this video probably because you're struggling to like you know you've been there because i've been there and i know how it is trust me i know how you feel i know how you're feeling right now if you've been to the doctor and they're telling you everything is right, everything is okay, then everything is okay. Okay, before you consider IVF, before you consider all this thing, just do all these little, little things first before you go do those IUI, IVF. They are not cheap, they're expensive, and it's not even 100%. So, um, I'm going to show you. I know I talked for like 15 minutes, but I needed to break it. I'm going to show you the recipe again. I have I have the recipe on my channel, but I'm going to be sharing with you guys exactly what I put together. And, you know, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I add a bit of things into it. Sometimes I don't. It's just me. It's just me. But I always make sure like the ingredients are completed. Like I are all together and I do it the right way. So I'm going to be showing you guys. Sorry, I have to make this all intro long. I'm so sorry, you guys. So we're going to get right into it. <clears throat> sorry. If you have not yet subscribed, you're new here, you're watching for the first time, please share with your friends, share with your family, share with people that you think might need this. This might change somebody's life this year. I'm telling you, believe in yourself, believe in 
this remedy, believe in this step, believe in me, believe in God, of course believe in God. This might change a lot of people's life. This remedy, it's small but mighty. Let's get into it. All right, you guys. Hi, I'm here again. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys this recipe. I have my empty pot right here that I'm gonna be showing you this magical uh, remedy for getting pregnant fast and effective. So I have my pot here. It doesn't have to be this big pot, but I just wanna use this pot. And um, I'm gonna be showing you. So for this recipe, you need cumin. This is cumin seeds. You need cloves. Sorry, I'm so close to the camera. And you need hibiscus. Okay, I'm gonna be showing you a few other things, but let's start with this first. Okay, one cup of hibiscus. So this is half cup, so I'm gonna use two of this. Okay, we are gonna be using two tablespoons of cloves so two tablespoons of cloves next thing I'm gonna be using is cumin I'm gonna use half a cup of cumin half a cup of cumin if you have ginger tea if you don't have fresh ginger in the house that's okay you can use ginger bath tea but I prefer to use fresh ginger but if you don't have at one point I didn't have um, fresh ginger in the house but i used a um, bag of uh, tea of ginger pop in this you don't have to peel it just cut it into pieces all right so this is the ginger right here Next thing I want to do is I'm going to be um, slicing some um, lemon into this. First, I'm gonna cut it and I'm going to juice it in there. You can just juice it in here, and after that, you can cut it into pieces and put it in the pot. This right here and I am going to be adding eight cups of water in here so this is it I'm going to be boiling this for the next 30 minutes this is gonna boil on medium heat all right so let's check this this looks amazing. This is exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm just going to stir it up. Oh, yeah, this is, oh, I feel like I'm so close. This is exactly what um, I want. You can see how that is? It's ready. I am going to be sieving it. Okay, you guys. So I have the um, leftover from the pot. I took it out. This is gonna last me for two days if I want to like, I'm not doing this right now to be honest, but um, I can give it to my husband to drink. It doesn't have to be for only for a woman. It can also be drinking by men as well. So, but because I'm pregnant right now, I don't think I need this. I haven't been drinking this, but I'm showing you guys. So for next time, you can keep the remaining in the fridge. Don't leave it in the pot. So you can reuse these up to three times with the same amount of water. It will still give you the same result. It's really powerful and um, you can drink it 
for the same amount this will last you for about three days because this is about eight cups so if you drink one cup in the morning one cup in the afternoon one cup in the evening you do the same thing the next day there will be two cups left you can remake again and drink it so yeah this is it this is amazing amazing remedy for um boosting your eggs your ovulations and also to like give you good qualities of eggs okay and during the time okay let me drink this i'll recommend that you start drinking a couple days before your period and couple days after your period so couple days before your period you start drinking in one cup of one cup in the morning in the afternoon in the evening do the same thing the next day you know just drink or you can just use it as your water like your all day drink detox it doesn't matter just drink it all the time make sure it gets in your system make sure you drink it all the time and if you go to the bathroom you pee and you see like reddish in your pee don't panic during the time because that happens to me and i remember that oh i'm drinking that so if you see reddish in your pee do not panic at all it's fine uh, it's part of like cleaning out your uterus so what you want to do is the same thing i just said drink it prior to the time that you are on your period and then after your period and after your period you start having intercourse so uh, you can track your ovulation as well you know know the time that you ovulate a lot of people don't know when they ovulate sorry i'm pretty i had to pause and breathe a lot of people don't know when you when they are ovulating so you need to track it you can buy one of the kits at any drugstore and track when you're ovulating it will tell you exactly um, when you're ovulating so yeah and yeah and then you have sexual intercourse if it doesn't work the first month try the second month don't give up keep doing it sometimes it doesn't work right away it will work you need to get in your system and help you out just do it as I tell you and focus and pray and it will work as long as you don't have any problem as long as the doctor is telling you oh you're good you're perfect you're you know just doing all these things and with prayer it will click and put your mind to rest that's another thing take your mind off it put your mind to rest enjoy the sex enjoy the time with your partner enjoy like actually enjoy stop panicking like, oh, i need to get pregnant no because your nerves are not relaxed so enjoy it and it will happen anyway you guys thank you guys so much for watching thank you for your love and support if you're new here for more remedies please thumbs up and subscribe and share with friends and family that you think might need this video i love you guys please share 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 i love you i'll catch you guys again bye